Welcome back here at WCNC Charlotte. We have teamed up with Hyundai to celebrate hometown heroes. So we ask you to nominate a healthcare worker in your life who deserves to be recognized. And as you can imagine, we got hundreds of nominations, so it was really hard to choose just one. But in the end, one woman got the surprise of a lifetime after she returned to North Carolina after spending weeks with Samaritan's Purse, working at the 10 hospitals in Central Park, treating patients with COVID-19. Uh, my name is Corinne Chaussee, and I am a anesthetist at Atrium. I decided to go to New York because to me it was better than to sit around here when there was a huge need somewhere else. I am a member of the disaster response team for Samaritan's Purse, so I ended up on a plane, set up the ICU, and then we were fully immersed in taking care of patients. So Corin posted about her experience with Samaritan's Purse, working in those tent hospitals in Central Park in New York City. I worked 31 days straight. Yet in her post, you can see how she remains so faithful despite what's going on around her. There was a lot of tragedy. I think I told somebody this is a war where the casualties are very high. It's a horrific disease. Of course, Corin is just one of many healthcare workers working so hard right now to protect all of us during this pandemic. Corin is a, a beautiful person. So what Corin doesn't know is we are about to surprise her and tell her she's our Hyundai hometown hero. But of course, because of social distancing, we all can't be there in person. I can't be there in person. I need to speak to Corin. Hi, Corin. I'm Sarah French with WCNC Charlotte. And your friend Donna, you're gonna make me cry, wrote the most beautiful nomination for you. When I saw the contest, I mean, it was just instant. Hyundai has a surprise for you as well. We appreciate all you do and all the other nurses in our community for taking care of us in this time and always. How does it feel to give a new vehicle away to a frontline worker? How could it feel anything but awesome? I think I'm the most proud of my husband because this was a huge burden on him. He supported me right from the beginning. My children are, have some special needs, which I usually handle and juggle that, and he, he did it all. tell you there these are all heroes every day when I come back and I'm like all right I gotta walk in there again it was the support of you guys that, that put one foot in front of the other some nights for me so thank you so much I'm so grateful for this it's just I'm speechless <laughs> I think the most difficult thing for my family was I spent my birthday and my husband's birthday and our anniversary in Easter in New York. My faith in God, I mean, I, I couldn't have done an hour there without the strength and the prayers of a lot of people. This was so amazing, Fred, and I have to say this was the first hometown hero we've done virtually. So she was holding the phone up when she walked out and I felt like I was so close to her seeing her reaction to everyone standing out there in the car that like I could not stop the tears from coming. An amazing story. You had me at frontline worker with Corinne's story, but then the fact that she missed a birthday, a couple of birthdays, anniversary, Easter, and she has special needs children. Wow, what a sacrifice she has made to be on the front lines and make a difference there. Yeah, she's an incredible, incredible woman. So Corinne and all the healthcare workers out there and all the nominations we receive, thank you so much for everything that you do for all of us. We cannot say thank you enough.